Hi, this is Connie from Prosperity Finance. I hope you're doing well. Share the best financial tips so that you can be more successful with achieving your financial goals. Now, you probably heard um, ANZ has a really good home loan product called Blueprint to Build. It's designed uh, to encourage people buy, uh, to buy or build new properties. Uh, their interest rate um, has a really big discount. I think it's 2.76 percent of the standard floating rates. So, by comparison, uh, if you don't use this product, uh, your floating rate is probably close to six. Um, but with this product, you only pay just sub three uh, percent. With in, you know, in the current interest rate rising environments, um, this is uh, looks more attractive than ever. So it's a really good opportunity. Um, recently, one of our clients um, looking to use this product, um, they bought a, a new property from someone. Um, unfortunately, the previous buyer couldn't settle um, because they finance issue. So our clients um, uh, took over the contract and um, yeah, settled the property under that name. Um, they got really good uh, purchase price, um, but um, they were surprised they couldn't get the ANZ blueprint to build uh, interest rates. So obviously they're very disappointed. Um, the reason behind this is that um, in order to qualify for these products, if you buy a property rather than build, you have to buy from the developer directly. You can't buy uh, from uh, someone else. Um, so just be aware because I don't think many people knows about it. Now, uh, coming back to the previous buyer, it's actually not uncommon to see uh, people transfer uh, the purchase to someone else uh, because you know, over the last couple of years um, with the COVID uh, lockdown and also the ma construction material shortage, um, the construction period uh, actually take uh, much, much longer than expected. So a lot of uh, people who used to have um, pre-approval, uh, the approval uh, expired. And with the same uh, financial position, same income, they no longer, they no longer qualify uh, for the, the approval. Um, over the last six months, bank has made uh, huge changes to their lending policy and appetite. So um, it's very, you know, very hard uh, for people uh, who purchase off plan uh, to get the same amount of loan. Most of people uh, borrowing capacity have reduced you know, quite a lot. So one of the solution for them is to uh, sell the property before settlement to avoid losing their deposit. Otherwise there's kind of significant loss. So you can say, you know, it's an opportunity um, for other people. Um, if, you, if you can, uh, you know, uh, purchase the property, it's brand new uh, and at uh, two years ago price, so it's a bargain. Um, but just be in mind that if you buy from someone, uh, rather than from developer, uh, you won't qualify for the ANZ blueprint to build. But I think it's still a good opportunity. With a new property, you can still qualify for, for other special kind of um, benefits. And if you want to get the home grants, you can get a double amount if you purchase new property. For investors, if you buy new property, uh, as you know, um, the new property um, can still uh, claim interest as expense. Uh, when it comes to tax calculation. So um, you get a lot of uh, uh, advantages. Now for these policy, they were driven by the CCC issue date rather than uh, the purchase source. Um, so they are not affected. The only thing that bear in mind is if you're buying from someone uh, for the new property, you wouldn't qualify for the ANZ blueprint to build. So when you calculate your cash flow, when you calculate the, the rental yield, uh, you need to uh, take into account um, for the uh, interest rates. So yeah, I just want to share this uh, with you just in case um, you are thinking buying um, new property from someone. Um, yeah, so let's share this message um, so that we have we can make more informed decision. Okay, thank you for watching. I I hope you find it useful, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.